that's pretty. Like this is the side of content creation that people don't like to show or tell. Because you know it's not a vlog without an Amazon package. morning you guys welcome back to another weekly vlog my name is Chanel if you're new here make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you give this video a thumbs up all right y'all so let me catch y'all up to speed basically I just got back from Atlanta yesterday like yesterday morning um if you have not seen the Atlanta vlog I will put it in the description box if you need to go check that out because it's a pretty big vlog like in regards to stuff that I'm gonna be doing in the future so I think you should watch it yeah so I just got back from Atlanta yesterday and when I tell y'all, I don't know, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know if this is burnout, but I, I just, it's just a lot going on in my mind right now. It took a lot for me to get out of bed this morning to film, but I know that I need to continue pushing out content because I have goals that I have for me and my channel. So I'm be trying to get to 1K soon. So like I said, if you're not subscribed and you're watching this and you just heard me say that and you're still not subscribed, like, yeah, y'all, I just, I was just on go all weekend. And now coming back, I'm like, I have to go back to work. It's just a lot, like, and editing and all this, y'all, it's so much. And people just downplay it. And at the end of the day, I'm choosing to be a content creator. Like, I'm choosing to do YouTube and stuff, but it's a lot. I'm a mom. I work a job. It's just so much, y'all. It's so much. And I'm just, like, really feeling it now. Like, I think this is the first time that everything just really hit me and caught up with me. But I'm working on trying not to let my feelings like overwhelm me and cause me not to do anything because I have a tendency to just like shut down and stay in bed all day. I'm not trying to do that no more y'all. So now that we're back from Atlanta the photo shoot and everything is done. That's one less thing off my plate because that was stressing me out. We worked on it so hard and it's finally done and it was a success so I'm excited. Can't wait for that to continue developing so I can share that with you guys. With that being said this is pretty much just going to be like a reset vlog. I'm just going to try to Work on my mental, clean my space, because I still have not done spring cleaning. Before I left to go, I ordered some like vitamins and stuff from Care Of. This is not sponsored. This is all with my money, my personal coins, but I'm trying to get back into vitamins and just keeping up with that kind of stuff because I am anemic and I feel like that also adds on to um, like my energy just being depleted and me feeling like out of it and tired and having headaches and stuff like that. Because I'm not good about eating stuff that has a lot of iron and I don't remember to take my supplements. So, such a cute, like, box for everything. This is my daily supplements. It has my name and it has today's challenge, stop and smell a flower. Really, an actual flower. They're nice. And I have two pills in here. And then I got this pocket protector on the go probiotics for immunity. I got the gut health um, gut check on the go probiotics for digestion. For digestion, and then I got sleep pills because I do not get a good quality of sleep ever. Like focus, y'all. My camera died. That was the equivalent of getting your um, belt loop stuck on the door when you already having a bad day for me. I was like, oh my, over it. And then I got this chia and flax protein powder. Well, this is not protein powder actually. This is just um, chia and flax powder. I saw the word protein because it said you can mix it with protein powder and it made me say protein powder, but it's not. But I'm trying to get into like the powders to add to my smoothies and all that kind of stuff, my oatmeal. This, I guess this is, oh. Yeah, just a breakdown of the things that I got. Understand, is my camera not on auto, it is on autofocus. Like why are you not focusing automatically on me then? I don't understand, but yeah. So we'll see how we like this, and depending on that, I will continue or I will cancel it. And just put that up here on the fridge. And it's just too much stuff in this apartment. I'm just so like over it right now. I'm like, I feel like ugh, I don't know. I feel like everything is just like swarming in on me. I don't know. I was literally editing for five freaking hours the other day. And it's hard when you spend all that time on something and it feels like it just goes unnoticed. Like. This is where comparison, like you see other people and you're like, why is it so easy for them? Why did they only post one video and they blew up? I try not to compare myself to other creators and other people because I know that the path that God has me on and the things that 
I'm doing are all going at a pace that's for me and I shouldn't look at other people's growth and be like, you know, jealous or uh, why them or whatever because it was just their time and my time will come. But it's still like disheartening, I guess, like, because I worked so hard on this channel, y'all, like, and I'm a perfectionist. So when a lot of times I post videos that I even really don't even feel like are up to par because I need the content out and I'm tired of doing that, but I can't afford to not post every week because I'm still trying to grow. Like, I'm not a big YouTuber. I don't have 100,000, 300,000, a million subscribers, and I'm not one of those people who can afford to stop and take a month in between and post and think that people aren't going to forget about my content. So it's like, uh, this is the side of content creation that people don't like to show or tell because they think they want their life to seem so perfect and stuff like that and that's just not me like i'm going to tell you guys because anybody who's trying to get into this just like i am needs to know this kind of stuff so like i don't want to do a damn thing right now i just want to sit here watch tv whatever but that's not productive and that's not what i need to be doing to get to the point that i want to be at it's I, I got so much work to do i cannot afford to have days like this and I have them all the time, and I feel like I already had too many. Like, I have to get back on point, and I have to go on the ball. Guys, let me quit talking, because I know y'all like, girl, anyways. But I'm about to start cleaning up my living room, because it's a mess. Rylan has all her toys everywhere. And y'all gonna see her tonight. I know y'all like, where is Rylan? Like, it's like she's never there. Trust me, she's here. I only choose to vlog on days that she's not here, because it's just easier. Um, but, because I have to be a mom at the end of the day. But she's going to be in this vlog, I promise, for those who want to see her and see how she's doing. But I'm about to clean up this living room. She got all her toys everywhere. John took her to the park right now. And I was like, you know what? Instead of me laying down in bed, let me get up and do something. So that's why I decided to get up, clean up, finally, my spring cleaning. And um, record for you guys. So, yeah, let's straighten up. And we need to put the decorations out for spring. Because I still have Christmas candles. Y'all, it's so embarrassing. People be coming in my house like... Girl, it's April. Why you got a polar bear Christmas tree candle on your freaking um, TV stand? Like, come on. Get with the program. Look, y'all. All her toys, her coloring book, her painting pad. All of this. Yeah. Yeah. And I went ahead and cleared all this stuff from under the coffee table. Well, most of it. And I'm about to just clean that up. I need to move the table and vacuum, actually. Like, it's just... I just need to get in here together. Look, it's just... Yeah. It's a mess. It's not how it should be. Alright you guys, so I have this box. I don't even think I have that many summer decorations like I made it seem. I have this empty vase that I got when I got the um, roses for my friends. I'm trying to see. Oh, it fits. Okay, so let's try to do like a little kind of arrangement of the things in this vase. No, it's a little too small for that. But you know what I could do? I could put just the green moss balls in it and um, get some fake flowers and just have stick out the top. I might just do that. I have this on my table still. These are the yarn balls. And I actually think I'm going to leave those until the summer. And then, then I'll put these oranges and lemons out. Because, yeah. I don't have no, nothing else to do with them because I only have that one bowl. And then I'll probably go out tomorrow or something to get some fake flowers to put in here. And then I have these summer candles. And this one smells so good. This is the candle I'm actually going to put on my bathroom thing instead of that bowl one. And I'm going to move the bowl one back out here. But... Yeah, I keep finding more of these every time. And then I have my lemon zest and citrus. Mm, so good. And then I have this watermelon kiwi. As you can see, I love watermelon. Like, I have watermelon. I love the smell of watermelon. And then this one is my lemon bergamot. Lemon and watermelon. If you come in my house during the summer or the spring, it's going to smell like one of those. So John actually bought me this sunflower bloom bouquet from that place, um, Love Pop. Um, and it's like, you know, fake flowers and stuff like that you make. It's like 3D art. So I'm just probably, I was going to put this on my TV stand, but the lemons and stuff don't fit because I kind of wanted that like lemony, colorful arrangement sort of vibe in here. But until I buy flowers, I can't put that out. I'm probably just going to leave it in the closet for now. 
but I'm probably gonna end up making this right now and putting that up there. I thought I had to put this, put this together, but literally all I have to do is squeeze it and it's done. That's actually really cute. So how do I get it to stay is the question. I don't like the blue base of it. Oh, excuse me. I don't like the blue vase too much because I don't have anything blue in here. Like if it was white or something, I would have liked it more. All right, y'all. So I seasoned my carpet. And by seasoning, you know what I mean. I sprinkled it with um, the carpet freshener. I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute before I vacuum it up, but for right now, I'm trying to figure out what I can do with these flowers. Okay, so I cleared off my TV stand and I decided to just kind of do it like this for right now. Probably gonna change it because I'm still kind of like eh about it, but since it has the yellow and the blue and colors and the green, I was like, okay, I can have it like a little summery looking area with like the colors. So I put these two candles next to it and then I just put my picture frames back in the back. But that's how it looks, you know. Let me know what y'all think. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it too much because I kind of like the neutral tones in my apartment, but it gives it like a pop of color, so it's not too bad. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day, so the vlog kind of cut off at like an awkward point yesterday after I vacuumed my rug because I just sat down for the rest of the day and just contemplated my entire life. But anyways, I'm in a better mood today. Um, I definitely feel like I'm getting out of that funk. I'm motivated. I'm ready to get up, film some content, and do what I need to do. So Rise at school. She should be home in about 40 minutes. It's 11.03. She gets out at 11.30. I made the Tarot Bubble Tea Oatmeal. Y'all, this smells weird. It does not smell like I thought it would smell. Okay, now that I stirred it, it does kind of smell like taro. But I added a little bit of honey because it doesn't smell like it was going to be sweet. Like, y'all know when you smell something, you just know, like, this does not smell sweet. And this did not smell sweet. <clears throat> So I'm going to put a little bit of my chia and flax powder in it and then I also have my vitamins here that I'm about to take with this I didn't take them yesterday. I was like, let me just get up and start today to reset. I have a weird thing, like if I'm consuming something, I have to smell it first. Weird. I'm going to taste it before I put in the flax just to see. And I'm sorry if y'all hear that, my washing machine is going crazy right now. I don't know. But let's taste this. Hmm. Tastes like it in the weirdest way, like, but it's also kind of like nutty and earthy because it has coconut in it. But it's actually really good. I will buy this again. Add this powder. Hopefully, this don't make it taste nasty. Oh, this freaking wig! Don't play with my sister. Cause this hair is bomb. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Exceptionally laced. Don't play with it. Like, love this hair so much. It's so full, y'all. And I haven't even flat ironed it or nothing since I came home. It could be flatter, but it's still like, I had to throw in a little quick promo for my girl. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Day 5,685 of me wanting a car. I'm in the mood to make a vision board. So I'm gonna make a vision board pertaining to my car. Well, my future car, the car that I want. We're gonna start off on Pinterest. Yeah, I love my Pinterest feed. I feel like it is just so, like every time I open Pinterest, it just gives me so much inspiration, motivation, like all kind of stuff. I see so many cute things on here. Like, oh my gosh, this picture is so bomb. Oh my goodness. Y'all like, okay, let's. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make this vision board while I finish my oatmeal. And then I will show y'all how it looks when I'm done. Okay, you guys, so I finished my vision board. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay. I'm going to show it to you guys. So, But y'all probably like, girl, when did you get... 
I don't know. I don't know when I'm getting a car. Um, I'm trying to think because I really don't want a car in New York. I feel like it's so pointless. I don't even, I have not parallel parked since my driving test, y'all. I was 14, I'm 24, like that was 10 years ago. I literally cannot parallel park, like I have never parallel parked except for that one time. And New York is 100% parallel parking. <sighs> it's so much. <laughs> hey guys, so Raya's home. Raya, you wanna say hi to the vlog? Say hi. hi. One hour later. All right, you guys, so I am getting ready to go to the gym. Finally, after all this time of saying I was gonna do it, I'm actually going to go do it. So I'm just about to put this band on. Put on some spray because we don't want to be too funky. All right, y'all, I got my bottle. My first time using it. My leggings, we about to go. My dishwasher is on, my dryer and washer is on, my air conditioner is on, so I know it's extremely loud in here. But we are going to be doing my weekly poppy restock because y'all know I'm addicted to poppies now, so I have to have them. And then I also bought some stuff um, to make salad, so I can meal prep a salad for the week. So I got some arugula, I got some chopped romaine, some cilantro, onions, tomatoes. Blue cheese crumble, my favorite. Oh my gosh. Nobody else likes blue cheese. I love blue cheese crumble. I don't like the dressing. I only like the crumble in my salads with balsamic vinaigrette. That sweetness and that saltiness and kind of like bitterness is just <sighs> chef's kiss. Some ham. Got my balsamic. I got me some pineapples. I got the honeycomb. Y'all, I've mentioned this before. This Van Lu and honeycomb ice cream is the best. Oh my god. God, this is so good. This is so good. This whole thing was $8, so you know it's good if I'm spending that kind of bread on it. And then I've been wanting to try these things, y'all. These mush overnight oats. And I'm kind of hungry now, and I need a snack because I'm about to make dinner, but it's not going to be done because I got to cook it. So I think I'm going to try the blueberry one. I've been really trying to get into like the oatmeal and all of that. And this is plant based coconut milk, whole rolled oats. Um. I'm trying to see if they have protein, five grams of protein, so. And then, I like the Olipops too, but I like Poppy better, but they have cherry vanilla and they have banana cream. This sounds weird, so we're about to drink this one now. All right. Y'all, I don't smell nothing that's weird as hell, considering this is blueberry flavor. I kind of smell it, oh. It's dripping. Well, I don't know how I feel about this texture. It's kind of runny. I thought it was gonna be more thick. Let me take this off because it's dripping all on my rug. Mmm. It tastes like blueberry pie. The texture is a little, mm. but it tastes good. It tastes better than the oatmeal I had this morning. We gonna try this. Banana cream olipop. Hold up. They might be on to something. This tastes good. Now I'm more open to dessert flavor sodas because this sounded weird as hell. And when it sounds weird as hell, you know I'm gonna try it. But this is good. I'll tell y'all this is disgusting. And it's actually not that bad. I'm not a huge banana person, but the creaminess, like the cream part, it's almost like drinking literally a banana cream pie. It's really good. It's the food, y'all. It looks so good. It's the, um, Sweet chili pork and cabbage stir fry. So we finished eating dinner and I just brought Rye down to the playroom cause she said she wanted to come down here. So I was like, let me just bring her so she can burn some energy before bed. Oh, that's so cute. 
that they put a little ketchup in here. I didn't know they had that ride. Yay. Yay. Oh, what, you, what are you cooking me? What's up guys, it's the next day and we are about to head because John wants to go look at cars so we're about to go walk to the um, Tesla dealership so I'm just going to take y'all with me so let's go look at these cars. So we just stopped in Chelsea Market because Brian was hungry, so we stopped to get some pizza. Y'all, I just spent four dollars on this little orange juice. $4. So we just left Chelsea Market. We're about to walk back home now. I got me a creme brulee and I still have to make that salad because I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna go home and do that. This thing got the light and green. Yes, I pressed it. Press it again. We going up to the High Line to get home. So the High Line is like a thing that you walk across above like the city in Chelsea. I'm gonna show y'all because I don't really know how to explain it. But we, we walk up there all the time. But this is how we go when we don't want to walk on the street, you know, next to the crazy people and stuff. But they don't really be coming up here. They have security up there? No. Well, sometimes, yeah. Maybe that's Every one. few hundred feet or so. Oh, okay. Well, we going out now. Look, y'all, that's the building Ariana Grande used to live in. And I love me some Ari. I never saw her though. All right, you guys, so I am back home and I just did a little bit of straightening up. Um, so what I'm about to do now is finally make this salad. I've been having this stuff sitting here all night. Well, it was in the fridge, but as you can see, it's nice and dry. I'm really trying to get on my meal prep stuff. So what I'm gonna do is prep me a salad to take to work with me tomorrow so I don't have to buy no food. And then in this bowl, we just have arugula, um, iceberg, I think, no, romaine, shredded romaine, cilantro, the cucumber, and the tomatoes. And then I'm gonna just put it in this bowl, in the fridge, for when I wanna eat when I get home and stuff, but I'm just gonna prep me one to take to work with me tomorrow in one of the um, containers. So what we got to do is cut up this cucumber, cut these tomatoes, cut up this ham, and this onion. So this is how we look, y'all. So I said I was gonna cut the tomatoes in half, but I got cherry tomatoes. So after I saw that, I was like, why would I cut them in half? They're already made to be like bite-sized. So I just put them in there, tossed it, and with the ham, the onions, and the cucumber, and I just sent John to get me some more banana peppers, which I'm probably gonna sprinkle on top um, as I eat, because I don't want the juice to make it like go bad fast. Oh my crap, I forgot. To put my cranberries in a salad thank god when i have a salad i have to have some kind of fruit like or something sweet in it so i got cranberries so here's my salad i put the cranberries and the blue cheese on the side i'm gonna take a little carton of um the ranch or whatever dressing i decide to use and then i have my one banana pepper that i had left but i'm gonna add some more this is how we're looking so i'm gonna take this with me to work tomorrow to eat Yo, my room <laughs> a hot mess i'm listen I'm about to clean up. This is all my clothes and Rylan's laundry, everything that I need to fold and hang up. So please, don't mind that. We got another Amazon package. You know it's not a vlog without an Amazon package. This will also be linked to my storefront. I'm really, really, 
really excited about this one. As you all know, before I bought, well, you wouldn't know if this is your first time watching me, but I'm going to tell you. So, I bought a, an electric candle lighter, and honestly, I don't really don't know, like, I feel like I'm not using it right. I haven't been using it. And I'm honestly sick of lighting candles because my smoke detectors go off so easily. Like, I could breathe on it and it'll go off. So it's like, y'all. I ordered a candle warmer. I've been seeing everybody ordering these. So I was like, it must be something worth ordering if everybody's ordering them. So I got a candle warmer so now I can just melt the candles instead of burning them. And I also feel like this will help me go through candles faster because I literally have still candles from like when I moved into my very first apartment. So with that being said, I definitely needed a candle warmer and I'm actually gonna test this out tonight. I don't wanna break it. Oh, that's so cute, y'all. So this is how it looks. I got a black one. And if I like it, I might order another one for the living room and just keep one in here. It came with two light bulbs. Oh look, and you can scan it, the little barcode thingy to um to talk to a representative if you need help that is so cute nowadays that kind of stuff really makes you want to purchase again because it's like so the name of this brand is cozy berry they're not paying me nothing this is all my opinions so i'm gonna plug this in light a candle and see if i like it y'all this candle melter my room smells so freaking good right now. it smells so good i'm not even being dramatic it smells like it, i kept the door closed and i walked in and it smells just like the candle. And when I light it, it doesn't even do that. It be having like a burny kind of like roasted, you know, like real candle smell. But now it smells just like the smell of the candle and that's it. I love it. Like, I, I don't know why I didn't think of getting it sooner. Like, look, y'all, it's so cute. You can dim it. How cute is that? How freaking cute. But I'm about to fold these clothes up and I'm gonna probably see y'all Maybe tomorrow, honestly, because now my dad and my brother's coming. I got to cook dinner. Like, I have a lot of stuff to do. So, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. So, I just got off of work. I'm in Marshall's right now, trying to find a stool for Ryland and just seeing what else they have in case I need something else. So, I'm picking up some more of these because I think I'm just going to start doing these once a month because it didn't, it worked last time. So. That's pretty with the thing. I don't I wouldn't have anywhere to put that though. This is so cute too. So they didn't have what I wanted in Marshall, so I just didn't even get the other thing because it's like I wasn't about to get in line to get that one thing. So I'm in Michael's now because I want to get um flowers for my vase. So I'm about to see what they have in here. These are cute. Okay, so these are four dollars. These are two dollars. So I'm trying to decide which one I want. I think I'm gonna just go with the two dollar one because this it don't gotta be fancy. These are pretty though. These are so cute, but I always buy them and like never use them. I'm walking home now. I just left Michael's. Y'all, it's raining. It's cold. The weather did a whole 360, but I'm walking to the train so I can go home take a shower and just do whatever else I need to do. Hi you guys. So it is, it's been a minute. Like I got home at, I want to say like 6.30 or 7 and it's 11.05 now. So I've literally just been binge watching the fourth season of Love is Blind. So that's what's been preoccupying my time all this these last couple of hours. The fourth season, honey, that's got all the drama. Like I, this season is like a lot of stuff happened this season that didn't happen in any of the other seasons. I like it. This is probably my second favorite season. I feel like nothing's beaten the first. Like you can never really top the OG, the OG, you know? Like, but this season, drama-wise, impeccable. So right now, I'm on the Mac, and I'm um, trying to make an itinerary for my trip that's coming up. Cause y'all, my vacation is literally in a week and a half, so I have reservations to make. I have stuff like I really procrastinate. Usually, I'm on point with my trips. Like I'll have the stuff done like a month, two months in advance. But this one, 
because this is like a family trip. So this is my first time going on vacation with my family as an adult. So I'm pretty much just trying to make sure everything goes smoothly and all of that. So right now I'm just trying to find like restaurants to make reservations for because it's going to be Mother's Day. So, you know, everything's going to be packed because it's Mother's Day and it's Sunday. So I'm trying to just pretty much find restaurants and stuff to do. So yeah, you guys, I really don't have much else to do. This is just what I'm doing. Then I have to go to bed because I'm exhausted. I got three hours of sleep last night and I got to get up and go back to work in the morning. I literally cannot afford to take any days off right now because this vacation is coming up. I need every coin I can get. So yeah, we got to go to work. Oh, and this is how the flowers look. So I put my three eucalyptus things that I had left over in here and then the moss balls, of course. And this is how it's looking. I'm probably going to tweak it because the thing is combined. So I might honestly cut them so that I can kind of like space them out a little bit more so they're not that one bunch in the middle. But it's cute. I'm just leaving it up here for now on the desk. And I just realized I never really talked about like the Tesla thing, like the car thing. So right now, I don't know what's going on. John wants a Tesla. Of course, I'm still probably going to end up getting my own car eventually because I don't really want to share a car in the future, but we're looking, we're looking right now. I don't, I'm not making a promises. I'm not saying nothing because it's really just like, just browsing, but I was never really into Teslas. Like, I don't, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little paranoid about electric vehicles. I don't want an electric vehicle. If he has one, I, you know, I'll drive it or whatever, but I, me personally, for my everyday use vehicle, I don't want to drive an electric vehicle. Like, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I'm paranoid. They were really nice. I've never really been in a Tesla. So, when we was like sitting in them and like just getting a feel for them and stuff, it was really, really nice. I was like, okay, if you buy one, I'm not gonna be mad at you, but we shall see. It's in the works, so we're talking about it, we're discussing it and just seeing what the best move would be. And I don't know if he's gonna go browse other brands, but, We'll see. But uh, yeah, they're really nice cars. Um, just not personally a car that I would want in the future. That could change, but as of right now, that's not my dream car, but it's his, so yeah. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out here, you guys, because I'm trying to focus on this itinerary, eat my ice cream, watch Love is Blonde, and then I gotta go to bed, so. But I will see you guys in the next vloggy vlog. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for all future content. And I will see you guys in the next vloggy vlog. I love you. Bye.